Hello sausage, this is Nana Beryl, and today we're playing The Sims 2, yes. It's nice weather here in Sydney today, isn't it? Love? Yes, it is, it's gorgeous. Now, we're going to play, I think we might play Catcher because she's expecting me today, aren't you, love? Yes, you are. She knew I was going to arrive any moment because I rang her beforehand and let her know, didn't I, love? Yes, I did. What are you doing, Catcher? You knew I was arriving. What are you doing? She's having a snooze. The rude bitch. How dare you? How dare you make sounds like farmyard animals in your bed when Nana Beryl arrives, love? You need to get your knickers on, darling. That's right, get up and get your playtex bra and your knickers on because we're going out. Yes, we are. Now, you need to go to the toilet first, don't you? But I think we'll phone an Uber or shall we go back up to your room? Yes, we'll go back up. Oh, she's being very tidy. You need to go to the toilet, dear. Hurry up. You need to go to the loo before we go out. She says, no, Nana Beryl, I'm having a shower. And I say, love, it's my show, not yours. So you'll go to the bloody toilet when you're told, love. Yes, you will. So she's going to the toilet. Yes, she is. And she's going to bake, well, she's going to make some chocolate baking bits, rather, love. Yes, she is. Now, she's having a bit of a bowel clap. Yes, she's having a difficult time because she's a little bit constipated. Yes, she's a bit bunged up from eating pizza. Yes, she is. Isn't that right, love? She says, you're telling the story, love, not me. So now she's going to have a shower because she's a grubby little bugger, aren't you, love? Yes, you are. Now let's have a look outside, dear, and let's see what's going on out here. Oh, my God, look, it's the postman. What are you still doing here, love? Stop loitering. That's right, dear. Love, stop loitering or we'll have you done for trespassing and harassment. Yes, we will, love. Now let's have a look at this house next door. Is that a graveyard? Oh, no, it's not, love. It's some swimming pool lounges. Whose house is this, dear? I can't remember. Oh, it says medium lot, but it won't give me the name of the person's house, love. Well, that's not very useful. Doesn't help me at all, love, no. I wanted to know who it was that's skyping off in a big, beautiful, flash house on lounges outside this swimming pool. Maybe we should go back inside and check on Catcher and see if she's ready yet to go out. Oh, has she phoned somebody? Yes, I think she has. She's phoned an Uber, haven't you, love? Yes, you have. So where are we going, Sausage? I think we'll go to Nana Beryl's new built city. Yes, a little mini city. Little shopping city. Yes, they have a beauty salon here, I think, too, love, don't they? Yes. Oh, my God, who's this, love? Who's, who's your taxi driver, love? I thought you called an Uber, but you called a taxi, didn't you, dear? All right, Sausage, will you do you? So meanwhile, meanwhile, we're going to meet Licorice Hack, who's playing with her domesticated pussycat. Yes, and these two cracker barrels are sick of being ignored, so they're leaving. That's right, love. That's right, dear. Now, you need to get your knickers on too, dear. Yes, you do. You need to get your playtex cross your heart bra on, sausage. Change into a jersey, because it's a bit cold, dear. That's right. Now, we're going out somewhere, are we? But you've got a work vehicle waiting for you. Yes, you have. She says, well, I can't go to work, Nana Beryl. Like, why can't you go to work, love? She wants to go out instead. Darling, why can't you go to work? And she says, because I'm sick, love. So you want to go out even though you're sick, but you don't want to go to work. She says, I can't go to work, love. I've got myocephalus, chicken, pox, herpes, malaria. And of course, if you've got myocephalus, chicken, pox, herpes, malaria, then of course you can't go to work, can you, love? That's right, you have to relax, so you're going shopping. Yes, that's right, dear. But meanwhile, yes, that's right, we have meanwhile again, love. Meanwhile, it's Brianka Del Moro, because she likes Moro bars. That's right, dear. You need to change your knickers as well, darling, because you're going out. That's right. And it's National Change Your Knickers Day. So she's going to change her knickers into something flash. Yes, she is. Because she's going out to the same place, aren't you, sausage? Yes, you are. All right, get changed, love. Not into that, love. You're going out somewhere special. You need to dress up better than that, dear. That's more like it, sausage, yes. Oh my God, your hair looks like a chef's hat, doesn't it, love? Looks like multiple chef hats. You're the size of the Big Ben Bell from the Tower in London, aren't you, love? Yes, you are. And she's off on an adventure as well, dear. But meanwhile, that's right, meanwhile, this little cracker barrel who's just finished polishing his bald head with turtle wax is now taking his car out too, aren't you, love? Yes, because it's National Take Your Car Out Day too, as well as being National Change Your Panties Day. How exciting. So he's going to go out 
And he's going to go shopping as well, aren't you, love? Yes, you are. That's right, so he's taking out his newly washed car that he took through a car wash, yes he did. And he's going out somewhere too, to the, probably to the same place. Yes, I think he is. He's going to the same place. Meanwhile, oh my god. Where are we, love? This is not someone's house, is it, dear? No, it's not. Isn't this the hotel where we left Juno Birch and Philly last time, love? I think it is. It's the Pink Palace. Have you been Skyping off the whole time at a hotel sausage? I think you have. It's about time you left and got back to Symbol Love so you can get back to London, yes. Where are you, Juno? You need to come out and ring Jennifer Calder to pick you up, love. Yes, you do. Now, where are you? I think she's at the Divas Bar having a few drinks, aren't you, love? I think she might be. Oh, here she is, love. Yes, she's going to try and ring Jennifer Calder, don't you, love? And she says, no, Nana Beryl, I'm going inside because I can smell KFC and I'll need some potato and gravy. Yes, I do, she says. So, like, all right, love, you do you. Mmm, yes, but I think you need to leave too, Sausage. You've been there long enough, I think, dear, to scrutinise. Yes, you have. So it's National Get Your Suitcase Day. Yes, because it's National Day of lots of things at the moment, isn't it, dear? So she's got her suitcases, and she's going to take off. Yes, that's right, love. Look at her, isn't she looking stunning with her suitcase? Yes, she's a special type of gorgeous, aren't you, love? You're a special species of stunning. Yes, you are. And Philly really cares about her, don't you, love? Yes, you do. And you can tell because he's got a bubble above his head. Yes, he's got a bubble above his head that says so, darling, so it must be true. Yes, that's right, love. And I've got an Uber. Yes, they have. And I've got Simon, the Uber driver. Thank you, Simon, the Uber driver, for taking them back to Simville Central. That's right, Sausage. Simon's very good. He's been working for Uber for 16 days. Yes, he has. Very good, aren't you, Simon? Yes, you are. Oh, and oh, there she is, love. There she is, looking stunning as usual. Now, where's Philly gone? Where are you, dear? Oh, where are you, Philly? Where's he gone? Oh, my God, did you go away in the taxi? And the Uber? Oh, he's up there. Oh, my God, you're like magic, aren't you, love? He just suddenly pops up there with your little sprocket. That's right, love, a cup of tea and some scones later. And now we're going to cross over to Regina, Regina, and Dixie Cartel, aren't we, love? Yes. And they're going to have a bit of a rest, yes they are, a bit of a rest. But Regina, Regina's got an MP3 player, so she's going to rave a little bit, yes she is. She's imagining being at an underground rave, aren't you dear? She says, no Nana Beryl, I'm not listening to that kind of music. What are you listening to then, love? And she says, Ozzy Osbourne. Yes, that's right, love. She's listening to Ozzy Osbourne because she does like Ozzy Osbourne. Yes, she likes a lot of things. She likes In Excess. Ozzy Osbourne, Def Leppard, and Kylie Minogue, yes, and you can tell she's listening to Ozzy Osbourne now because of the expression on her face, yes, and her hand gestures, look at that, love, yes, that's definitely an Ozzy Osbourne music face, that is, love, yes, it is. And what are you doing, Dixie? Are you skyping off on the bed dreaming about your future husband because you're an unclaimed treasure? Yes, you are. She's like a treasure. With a wig on, isn't she, love? Yes, she is. Oh, and look, it's Taylor Lautner. Yes, he's still a werewolf. And he's digging through the earth to try and find Middle Earth so he can find Gandalf. Yes, he wants to ask Gandalf to turn him back into a human being so he can star in a new movie he's been offered to star in alongside Andy McDowell called The Token Groomsman. That's right, love. Yes, but he's digging furiously to try and find Middle Earth so he can talk to Gandalf. That's right, love. I think he'd settle for Tinkerbell, but he probably won't get as far as Disneyland. Will he, love? No, he won't. Now, Regina, Regina, what are you doing? You've been listening to your MP3 player again, haven't you? And this time she's been listening to Kylie Minogue, haven't you, dear? Yes, you have. Padam, padam. And now she's going inside because she's going to get a phone call, aren't you, love? Yes, you're taking the phone call that's left there for you from a magazine company. And they've offered to give you a subscription. Yes, they have. They're going to give her a subscription to Australian Women's Day magazine, haven't they, love? Or is it Australian Women's Weekly? She says it's Australian Women's Weekly, love. Yes, so she's very excited about that. And now they're having a bit of a girl dance, aren't they, love? They're having a bit of a boogie look at them. Yes, Regina, Regina and Dixie Cartel. They're doing very lesbian-like moves, aren't they, love? Yes, they're probably practicing for when they go to a lesbian nightclub, even though they're not lesbians, that's right, love. They're just two men 
for a drag queen, see it's right there. Yes, but they're having a good practice because they're going to perform at a lesbian nightclub one night. They are, love, yes they are. I've been asked to, to do that for Pride Week. So we'll just let them do their thing, won't we? Yeah, yes we will. Oh look, there's more activity in her panties as in a UFC match, isn't there, love? Yes, there is. And she's going for it, isn't she, Regina, Regina? Oh yes, and Dixie, look at you move those leg warmers. Oh, now she's dancing on her own. Yes, and Dixie Cartel is very upset because she's hungry and she wants to go out. Yes, she does. She wants some coffee and some McDonald's, don't you, love? Yes, you do. Because she likes her little hamburgers, don't you, darling? Yes, you do. She loves her little hamburgers. She wants a quarter pounder with cheese. So she's going to get a lift in the taxi, aren't you, love? Yes, she's getting in a taxi with Simone. Yes, thank you, Simone, for taking them out somewhere, love. That's right, sausage. Now, we're going to have another meanwhile sign, are we, love? So, Simville Court, love, what about the meanwhile sign? Oh, we're actually not going to get to meanwhile sign right now, love. We're going to the small city that Nana Beryl built. Yes, that's right, love. Yes, oh, and here we are at the small city that Nana Beryl built. Oh, look at them getting out of there. Oh, yes. Oh, look at the court area. Isn't it nice, sausage? Don't you think it's beautiful? And there's a little McDonald's. And that's thanks to Mod The Sims. I mean, I made that McDonald's myself, but it was modified from another McDonald's. I built this one and just used some of the tools. Yes, that's right, love. I used some of the tools that came up in my creation area. Oh, and look, and she's looking at this shoe sculpture that was meant to be, and I do say meant to be, RuPaul's stilettos. But it's not, love. Look, it's a deformity. Far the artist. That doesn't look like RuPaul's stilettos at all, love. Looks like a deformity made with AI. That's right, does. That's right, love. It does look like a deformity made with AI, love, doesn't it, dear? Yes. Now, he doesn't like Ew. Regina Regina's wig because it's too shiny. He keeps yelling out in the distance. He says, darling, you need to use a baking soda bath on your hair. That's right, love. Yes, she does. Either that or she needs to use some dry shampoo. And over here, we have Capture. She's already arrived. Look at you, love. Yes, and you're going to get a root beer, aren't you, love? She says, no, Nana Beryl, I'm going to get a soda. I want a non-alcoholic drink. But I don't think she's telling me the truth, love. I think she wants a bit of alcohol, don't you, darling? You're being a bit naughty. So she's going to take a sip. Yes, she is. A couple of sips, aren't you, dear? Yes, but she doesn't like the taste of it because it tastes a bit strange. So she's going to put it on the floor, aren't you, love? Yes, you are. Yes, now be careful, love. I think you've been drinking something. Yes, you might walk into the walls, dear. Yes, you might. Be careful of the walls, dear. And she's looking at the lipstick, isn't she? Yes, she is. Oh, and they're taking away her drink for her. And she says, what is this? Is it Revlon or is it Maybelline? And now she's going to Juno Bucks Stunning Coffee. That's right, love. Look at it. It's Juno Bucks. It's a bit like Starbucks, but different. Yes, that's right. And look at the menu board that Nana Bell created. Yes, it's very cheap, isn't it? It's very reasonably priced. So she's just sitting down and having some stunning coffee, aren't you, love? Yes, you are. Oh, look. It's Juno Buck's stunning sign, yes, with her stunning hair and her stunning makeup and her stunning scarf in the background, isn't it, love? Yes, it is. Now, I think you need to order another drink, love, yes. You've got two baristas here. Yes, now, oh, what are you doing? Oh, yes, he definitely doesn't like Regina. Regina's wig, does he, love? No. He thinks you need to take it back and get a refund. Yes, you do. I think you need to come over here and get a drink. Yes, she's desperate for a drink of Juno Bucks coffee. Aren't you, love? Yes, you are. She's very excited. Yes, she's almost wetting herself with the excitement. Now, they're having a bit of a girl gossip. Yes, they are. And where's this man gone? I just saw a man before, didn't I? Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Now, he's a part-time electrician. That's right. And he wants to show you his pointy pliers, doesn't he, love? Yes, I think he does. He wants to show you what's in his electri electrician's toolbox. Oh, and now she's going to order a soy chai latte with chocolate on top with no sugar that has also no caffeine. That's right, love. And Dixie says, sorry, love, but I can't talk right now. I've just built some ketchup on my phone latex boobies I've got to wash my foam latex boobies off so she's washing her foam latex boobies yes she's very good at washing her foam latex boobies aren't you love yes you are and Regina and Regina is sitting there and she's waiting for her coffee and she thinks this is very crap customer service that's right now Dixie you need to come in here and order a soy chai latte with chocolate on top as well love yes you do that's right love hurry don't take your time at all 
Does she say, hello, sausage? I would like, I don't want a soy thai latte, even though Nana Beryl said so. No, I like a hot chocolate. Now, what do we have over here, love? Have we got another arrival? Yes, we do. It's Brianka Del Moro, who likes Moro bars, yes. And she's looking like the belle of the bull, aren't you, love? Yes, you are. And she's going into the superette, yes, the supermarket that Nana Beryl built. Yes, she is. Oh, and there's Juno Birch. What are you doing, Juno Birch? Now she's going to get an alcoholic drink, can't you love? Yes you are. And you know Birch has arrived, love. What are you doing? And she says, hello, Brianka. What do you think of my shopping centre? She says, your shopping centre? She says, yes, I own it. I'm just here inspecting it to see how things are going before I head back to London. So yes, this is owned by Gino Birch, obviously by the looks of it, love, yes, she owns Gino Bucks as well, so she's decided to come and check on everything before she leaves to go back to London, isn't that right, Gino? She says, whatever, love, you're telling the story. So yes, so she's going into Gino Bucks, she is, and she's going to talk to the maitre d', and she's going to say to her, how are things going, love? She says, well, I have a young person who wants a job interview with you, and he goes, oh, that's just been sprung on me at the last moment, has it? And I say, yes, it has. So she goes, all right then, I'll sit down and interview the little cracker bell. So there he is in his red shirt, and she's going to give him an interview to see if he should be working at Juno Bucks. And she says, well, what are your qualifications, love? He says, well, I went to university to learn how to make coffee. She said, really? Because, yes, I did a degree on how to make coffee from coffee beans. She says, well, that was a waste of money, wasn't it, love? She says, well, let me test your coffee anyway and see what it's like. So she's going to test the coffee that he's made for her. And she says, well, this is a bit shite, isn't it, love? Yes, I don't like it very much. It's a bit crap. You need a refund from your university, love. Yes, you should have just gone to a cafe and learned how to make coffee like most people do, love. That's right. You're a bit of a cracker, bro, aren't you, love? Looks like there's a whole box of empty where your head used to be, dear. That's right. So she's not very impressed. Yes, she look at her. She's not very happy, is she, love? No. But like a T-shirt says, drag queens matter, darling. Don't forget that, dear. That's right. Oh, what are you doing, Regina, Regina? Are you going shopping? What are you doing? Are you going to get a coffee too, dear? Oh, don't trip over that sausage. Now, Brianka wanted to come in here to ask Juno a question, but she realises now that she can't because she's too busy doing a job interview and taste testing the crappy coffee. That's right, love. And this little woman over here, oh, what's she doing? She's giving him a meal. Yes, she is. She's going to test out the food that he also cooked for her too which tastes like crap as well, so she won't be hiring him, will she, love, no? And there's James Belch, yes, and he wants to show this young man his special curling iron, don't you, love? Yes, you do. So he's parading around and showing off his backside, that's right, darling. Yes, he is. And this man, he's going to twirl around too and show off everybody his buttocks, because he's been working out at the gym, haven't you, love? Yes, you have. Thanks for showing us your buttocks, love. And, oh, look, they're having a bit of a natter because she doesn't realise that he's just, he's a bit of a homosexual, yes. And he likes his drag queens, don't you, love? Yes, you do. Because all homosexuals like drag queens, love. Because that's a thing, yes, it is. Even though it's not really true, love, no. They don't all like drag queens. Even though they probably have secret self-harbouring homophobia, darling, when they don't like drag queens, love, that's what it is. Because drag queens do matter. Yes, that's right. Just like trans people matter too, love. Yes, they do. Now, not that I'm getting political though, love. Oh, what are you doing, Juno? Where are you going? She's going to inspect things, aren't you, dear? Where are you going, love? Oh, my God. She's like a queen in a trance, aren't you, love? Yes, you are. Are you going to sit down and have a hamburger? And she says, no, Nana Beryl, I have things to do. I'm busy. So she's going to inspect the pub that she owns as well, love. Yes, so Juno is going upstairs to play some snooker, aren't you, love? Yes, you are. And she's going to play some snooker with James Belch, aren't you, dear? Yes, you are. And she's very good at playing snooker, aren't you, love? Yes, you are. Standing there in her drag queen matters shirt. Yes, that's right. Now, James Belch is going to talk about business, aren't you, dear? Yes, you are. Now, I think we'll leave them there to play their little game of snooker. And that can be the end of part one, I think, dear. Yes. And we'll return to part two next time, Sausage. Yes, we will. Now, thank you so much for watching, Sausage. Stay safe and have a lovely day, dear. That's right, Sausage. Bye-bye.